I'm out here today with uh, Jonathan. Jonathan, how old are you? 22. Where are you from, Jonathan? From California, Watts, Los Angeles. How long have <clears> you been here in Phoenix? I've been here for about five years. And uh, we we're talking earlier and you're telling me you're using drugs. What are you using? I use blue fentanyl pills. The Percocets, they're laced with fentanyl. What was that? Percocets, they're laced with fentanyl. How long you been using blues? I've been using blues now for about a year and a half. And what got you started with that? Uh, I was an ex-heroin addict and then from heroin, like heroin was out on the streets on no more and then I went to blues because that was the closest thing to it. How many times have you tried treatment? I tried it four times, but it really just irritates me because like, they, they don't really try to help, like try to like, like help you when when you're in there because they just let you let they really just let you go cold turkey and handle it yourself you know so that's why I'm trying to get off myself. Do you have family out here? Uh no I don't. What uh what do you think it's gonna take for you to go through treatment and actually stay off of this stuff? To be honest, I don't think treatment's the way for me because I'm a little bit different. But I think I'm gonna get through it by myself, you know? When is that gonna happen? It's gonna happen, you know, it takes its time because it's not like one, two, three, like it, it happens like that, you know? I say within the next month, I'll be, I'll be straight. So in 30 days, when I talk to you, you're gonna be clean? Most likely, the best possibility. Any overdoses for you? Yes, I've overdosed three three times already in my life. <clears throat> what scares you more? Being, not having fentanyl to smoke or possible death? What, which one scares you more? I'm not scared of death, so the other, you know, not having the fentanyl pills. Like, cause like it hurts, you know, like it really does. How many, how many pills do you need per day? About, right now I'm at about 30. I used to be at 55, 60. I've been cutting down slowly but surely because I'm trying to get off of them by myself. <clears throat> by myself. How much money do you need per day to get pills? Well, to be honest, it's like, there's different people charge different prices, you know? And like throughout the day, I really don't have like cash to give like that. So like I panhandle, you know, and then some people charge seven, some people charge six, and then lowest is five, you know, so it's whatever, like whatever, I, like whatever, you know. So sometimes it could be 150 a day, it could be 200 a day. It's like missing here, you know. And what are the ways that you make money I, to buy pills? I panhandle, I wash people's cars. Uh, that's really it. I help people out when they need it with the yard and stuff. Any violence out here that you've encountered or seen? No, sir. No violence at all? Mm-hmm. That's good. What advice would you have for young folks out there uh, wanting to try drugs or trying drugs? What would you tell them? Don't do it, man. Hey, I'm telling you, I I come from a long bloodline of family that does drugs, and I do drugs, and it's, it's not good, you know? I'd rather, I'd say, like, you're gonna, you're gonna hit that shit, make sure you know what you're doing. Like, think twice about it, you know? I'm not I'm not trying to stop you or anything, but you know what, do what you gotta do. Like, I'm letting like, you know now, you are gonna fuck up your life. And my bad for cussing, you know? But straight up, you're gonna mess up your life. That's what it is. That's all it is. All right, so you already gave me a 30 day commitment. So when I see you in 30 days, I'm gonna see where you're at, okay? So yes, we'll sir. keep tabs and see where you're at, see how you're feeling, see what you're doing. And then we'll go from there, okay? Yes, sir. Thanks for talking to us, Jonathan. Yeah, no problem.